morning, everyone. Welcome. Can you hear me outside? Can you hear me outside? Yes? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, so, um, as some of you may know, we're starting today, we're initiating a new mask policy for weekday masses because we're a smaller group and people are spread out um, during the week. Uh, masks will be optional. So it uh, depends upon how comfortable you are. If, you're, if you want to keep your mask on, by all means do. If you feel comfortable without it, that's fine too. Sundays, we're going to keep the, the mask as a requirement because there's a lot more people here. So, um, so however you feel comfortable, um, feel free. So on this windy day, let's ask the wind of the Holy Spirit to blow through our hearts and to inspire us to follow Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we are surrounded by God's mercy. Let us enfold ourselves in that mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the word of God become flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you lead us on the pathways of life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us how to pray, and you pray with us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Thank you. 
when the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive people their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive them, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. So when I lived in Washington, I had a friend who was looking to join a prayer group, uh, a group that met every week for prayer. And so she went to one of their prayer meetings, and I saw her a few days after that, and she said to me, well, I'm not going back there again. And I said, why? She said, they just won't shut up. It's just words, 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 words. God can't get a word in edgewise. There's not a space to just be quiet and listen. It's just talk, 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 talk. This is exactly what Jesus is talking about in the gospel. Our prayer should be quite simple. We don't have to go on and on and on and on and on. It's good to stop and to listen, to let God have a chance to speak a word. And if we look at the, this prayer that we know so well, the Our Father, it's a very simple prayer. It begins not by asking God for anything. It begins by praising God. Hallowed be thy name. Praying for God's kingdom to come. Praying for God's will, not mine. And only then do we ask God for something. And it's very simple. Give us what we need today our daily bread, and most importantly, forgive us as we forgive others. And don't lead us to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Very simple prayer marked by this sense of forgiveness, that we will be people who forgive others because we know how much God has forgiven us. It's a simple prayer. It's a prayer that gives God room to speak. It's important to remember that when we pray this prayer, um, we're praying the word of God. This is part of the word of God. And as the first reading reminds us, the word of God is fruitful, always fruitful, always brings transformation. So this prayer that we pray little by little or sometimes a lot transforms us. When we pray this prayer, we're united with Christians throughout the centuries who have prayed this prayer and people today who pray this prayer. There are people in the Ukraine praying this prayer. We're united with them. People who are refugees, people who are facing difficulty throughout the world are praying this prayer. And we 
we are united with them when we pray. And most importantly, we're united with Jesus when we pray because he prays with us. He's always sitting there next to us when we pray and especially when we pray this prayer that, that he has given us. So let's take Jesus' advice and not babble on, but pray simply. Pray the prayer that Jesus has given us and give God some space to speak, just to listen to God. Let us offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church that we may always remember that we are united with Jesus when we pray. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Pope Francis, for our bishops, for all women and men who have ministries of leadership in the church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for world leaders that they may work together for peace. We pray for the people of the Ukraine. We pray for all those who are welcoming refugees who are fleeing from the war. We pray for peace in the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, those we know who need God's healing. We pray for Hannah for Heather, for Dave Kelly, for Suzanne, for Anna Maria, for Peyton, for all those suffering from COVID, and for all those who care for the sick. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who during these days of Lent are preparing to be baptized or to be received into the church that God may guide their journey through Lent. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, the Mass today is offered for John Goulet, for all those we know who have gone before us, that God may welcome them into light, happiness, and peace. We pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts. Let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Oh God, your word always bears fruit and you plant your word within us. We ask you to receive these prayers, for we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. Re 
receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Following Jesus' invitation, we pray with him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life.
let us pray. Lord, grant through these mysteries that by moderating earthly desires we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. So as you may know, we're going to have a, our spring tag sale at the end of this month, the 31st and then the beginning of uh, April. So if you're doing any early spring cleaning and you want to unload some of your treasures, we'll be collecting them the very last week of this month. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, may your faithful be strengthened by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure. And in peril, their protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Yes, be to God. Thank you. Have a good day. Keep Thank warm. You.